friends, it is time for a story. Today, the title of our book is What Makes Day and Night? And the author is Franklin M. Branley. So Franklin M. Branley is the author. He writes the words in the book. And the illustrator is Arthur Duros. So Arthur Duros drew the pictures inside of our book. Now, before we read our book, let's get our bodies ready for some uh, whole body listening, right? We'll start off by singing our song. So everybody get your hands up. Nice job. We'll sing, open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Place them on your lap, lap, lap. Nice job, boys and girls. You are all ready for our book, What Makes Day and Night. Oh, this page looks dark. Would this be the daytime or the nighttime on this page? It would be nighttime, right? Because we notice that the sky is black. It's very dark. We see stars and we see stars at night and the moon, and that's when we see the moon at nighttime. Here's our title page, What Makes Day and Night. All right, and now the story is starting. We all live on Earth. We all live on Earth. The Earth is our planet. It is round like a big ball, this is Earth, and it is spinning. So Earth is always spinning, but we don't feel it spin, right? We do not. It's hard to believe that Earth is always spinning and turning because we don't feel any motion. Motion means moving. This is because the Earth spins smoothly, always at the same speed. This is the earth. This is a photograph of the earth. Photograph is a fancy word for picture. It was taken by a camera aboard the Apollo 17 spacecraft. You can see that the earth is round. If you were way out in space and watching the earth, you would see it spin. The earth spins around once in 24 hours. Light from the sun falls on one half of the earth, okay? The half, of, the half in the light has day. The other half is dark. It is in the earth's shadow. That half has night. As the earth spins, we move through the light into the darkness and back again. We have day and night. So here's the sun and the sun shines on the earth, right? But remember the earth is always spinning. So look, there's no sun over here. So it's nighttime for the people on this side of the earth when it's daytime for the people on this side. Imagine that you are in a spaceship high above the North Pole. Okay, so imagine that you are right here above the North Pole in this spaceship. Imagine you can stay there 24 hours and watch the Earth make one complete turn. Wow. As the Earth turns, we have sunrise, daylight, sunset, and night. Okay, so it shows what the earth is looking like when it's spinning, okay? So the people up here, this is their sunrise. Later on, see how they're moving down? Here's the people now. Later, because the earth is turning, they move over here. It is the middle of the day for them. It's noon time. That's about the time that we eat lunch. So the earth's moving and there's the people. As the earth turns, so they were here, now they're moving down here. It carries them down here. 
and then they have sunset. That's when the sun goes down for the day. So they were here, now they're gonna go this way. By the time they get all the way over here, it's the middle of the night for them. It is midnight. We are all sleeping at midnight. At the end of the day, 24 at the end of the day, 24 hours, they have sunrise again, and then they move up here. Pretty cool. You can see how we move from daylight to darkness by doing an experiment. You will be the earth and the lamp will be the sun. So you guys could even try this at home. See, here's a lamp and it's shining on the child right there. Okay, it's shining on their body. Let's see. Uh, so this is sunrise, okay? The sunlight is shining right on the side. So the child's standing sideways and the sun is coming on one side. Stand so that your left side is toward the lamp. Hold your arms out all the way. Your left hand points toward the lamp. That is sunrise. See where the, the pretend sunlight is on his body? Stay in the same spot. Keep your arms out in front from your sides and turn to your left. Now the lamp is all the way in front of you. It's the middle of the day. It is noon time. So you turn your body a little bit and all of the sunlight's in front of you. That's the middle of the day. Keep turning until your right hand points towards the lamp. You are turning away from the light. It is sunset. See how the sun's on the other side now of his body? He was standing forward in this picture. Now he's standing backwards. And then keep turning until your back, your back is toward the lamp. It is nighttime, but your back is in the daylight. Half of you is always light and half is dark. It's the same with the earth. So now, when we look at this picture, it's dark on the front side of his body. He turned, so now it's nighttime. The earth is always turning. It never stops. Round and round it goes, and it goes very fast. About 1,000 miles an hour. As the earth turns, we are always moving from day to night and from night to day. You can see this happen if you are awake very early. You can see sunrise. The earth is moving you toward the sun. See, he was up very early, so he's seeing the sun start to rise up in the sky. That's sunrise. The earth keeps turning. Later in the day, we begin to turn away from the sun. You can see the sunset. This is later in the day. Now the sun's going down, down, because we're moving away from it. At about 24 hours after sunrise, the sun will rise again. It all happens because the earth is spinning round and round, okay? As the earth turns, the sun seems to move across the sky. So early in the morning at sunrise, it's down here. Then at noontime, about lunchtime, it's way up high in the sky. And then it starts to go down. That's when it's sunset. So it looks like it's moving, but the earth is moving. If you were on the moon, you would also have day and night, but the moon spins very slowly, so days and nights are long. Places on the moon have two weeks of daylight and then two weeks of darkness. During one night on the moon, the earth spins around 14 times. Look at that. The turning earth gives us about 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of darkness. That seems just about right for all of us on planet Earth. So when we look at this picture, is this daytime or is this nighttime? It's daytime. What are some things that we notice happening at daytime? Well, we notice the sun is high up in the sky, right? The sky is light. Children are playing outside. It's daytime. Because at nighttime, what are we doing? At nighttime, 
we're sleeping, we're in our beds, right? The sky is dark. We usually don't go outside to play in the dark, right? Yeah. All right, friends. Well, I hope that you enjoyed the book, What Makes Day and Night. And right now, my friends, it is time for us to sing our goodbye song. So everybody put your hand up. Nice job. And we will sing, goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, boys and girls. I'll see you soon.